Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. Our colubrid snakes are in hibernation, and when we're cooling them down, we clean each and every single cage, which means that's a lot of snakes to clean. We're gonna show you how we do it. You're watching Snake Bites. We're in the colubrid room right now and these snakes are actually hibernating. It's about 55 degrees in here and we're in a process what we call revamping, which means we tear each cage down, clean it, put new bedding in, bleach everything out so that they have a really clean environment. The reason for that is, is because these animals slow down their metabolism, which means their immune system slows down too. And if they're in a dirty cage, they can actually get sick. Now we normally do this before hibernation, but we got really busy. So now we have to do it while they're actually in hibernation. The important thing is that they get clean cages. Now we have to go through thousands and thousands of cages, cleaning them, dumping them, bleaching them, rebedding them, and putting them back in. What the interesting thing about these snakes is again, they're not actually sleeping like a lot of people think about hibernation. They're completely aware. They're just slowed down a lot. Like take this corn snake, for instance. You can certainly see that this animal is slowed down a tremendous amount. Look at how slow that tongue is compared to a normal response. But the truth is, it's still completely aware. It just doesn't need to eat, but it's very important to have a clean environment with clean water as well. Now, on the other hand, you got to keep in mind that these animals, when they're hibernating, are pretty much defenseless. So they all have their own unique defense mechanisms. These milk snakes like to musk on you, which is a pretty nasty thing, and it doesn't smell very good. And they actually come out of scent glands right at the base of the tail. You can actually see that nasty, milky musk right now. Trust me, that does not smell good at all. With some rat snakes, their defense mechanism during hibernation is to actually get mean like this animal here and rear up and want to actually bite. And it's really interesting because during the normal season when it's warm, these animals are super tame. But as you can see, this thing is just ready to come after me. So you got to be really careful when dealing with certain animals. It's really interesting how different animals will have completely different attitudes during hibernation. These hognose snakes are kind of interesting because they're a lot like the rat snakes in the sense that they're going to act really mean. But the truth is, it's all just an act. They really aren't mean at all. But they're going to flatten out. They're going to puff their head up. They're going to make a sound. They're going to even jump at you. But they really never bite at all. They actually lunge at you with their mouth closed. And this is all a way to keep predators away when they're cooled down. All right, guys, now you know the show is about defense mechanisms of these hibernating animals. You know, it's cold out here, it's January, and some of the guys in the crew have been really slow. So I'm going to see how they defend against my confrontation. <laughs> Victim number one, Kearney. Kearney! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm sick and tired of picking up your crap. You leave garbage around, you leave... George, victim number two. George! George, you park in my parking spot one more time. I'm gonna break your little neck. Do you understand me? Huh? You wouldn't want a girl, would you? Oh. Victim number three, Steve. Steve, are you gonna get us a hockey team going together or what, dude? It's been forever. I'm so tired of this crap. <laughs> the hell? Victim number four. Big chews. Chews! What? What? Get a freaking haircut, dude. You're embarrassing me, dude. Look at you. Do you ever shower? Huh? Do you? <laughs> Victim number five, Timmy. This might be a tough one. I don't know if he has any emotions at all, but we'll try it out. Let's go. Tim! What is wrong with you? You are the laziest, worthless piece of garbage you've ever seen! That's it. I'm gonna ring your neck! I'm gonna kill you! Victim number six, the boss, Lori Barczyk. Lori! I got a freaking bone to pick with you! I'm tired of what goes on here! You need to get control of your place! I'm tired of carrying this whole damn place on my back! What the heck do you want me to do, huh? Are you kidding Tell me? me?
These animals aren't too bothered by what we're doing here and what we're showing you, but the truth is we want to get these guys back in the dark and sleeping and keep them dormant for about two to three months because it really increases your odds when producing baby colubrid snakes like corn snakes and king snakes. So the fact of the matter is, is we want to get this cleaning done as quick as we can and that's where the details really are. Let's go look at a couple jobs that are going on right now. When cleaning this many cages, the important thing to do is have as many extra clean rubber maids as possible. That way you can act like an assembly line. So what we do is we take these clean rubber maids and put brand new bedding in them, getting ready to switch the animals from their old cages into these brand new tubs. After getting all the tubs with the brand new bedding in it, it's just a matter of pulling the snakes out of the old cages, switching them into the new ones, and setting the old cages aside to get ready to be cleaned for the next cycle. What the guys are doing here is taking the old cages that are dirty and dumping them out, scraping them and spraying them, getting ready for the next stage which is washing them. The next job is to take the tubs into the washing section. We bleach them out, we scrape them down and we rinse them off, then we stack them up to dry. Only about 7,000 of these to go and we'll be done for the year. On this week's Comment of the Week on the Jack Hanna episode, the question was, what's your worst and most ridiculous Christmas gift you've ever received? And the jailbreaker said, Hello, SBTV. Cal, I got a melon baller from a friend one year. I think he was having a laugh. LOL. Anyways, that was my most useless gift ever. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I'm not so sure I'd want to get a melon baller for Christmas. But hey, you know what? They do come in handy from time to time. You guys keep sending me creative comments, and I'm going to feature you on a future episode. All right, guys, it's Cow's Crush of the Week. Now, 2009 in the past, and that's a good thing. I want to know what you guys are looking forward to in the year 2010. Let me know if you've got anything exciting coming up. Text your video comment below. So there it is. That's a whole lot of snakes that need to be cleaned each and every year for hibernation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to follow me over at Twitter at twitter.com slash snakebitestv. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites. <laughs> Good for the show. Exactly. Yep. <laughs>